Okay. We need to do this quick because I'm just doing my nails. Um, because I'm actually leaving for vacation. Okay, so anyway, hi everyone, my name is Amina and welcome back to my beauty space. And today we're gonna do a video uh, basically related to what's in my makeup bag. So this is the bag that I usually have for my makeup. I think it's actually pretty big because um, I've seen girls usually wear like smaller bags and just put like basic stuff that they use all the time inside. But I seem to like just put all of my makeup in one bag because I never know like what I'm gonna need so I just put up put in everything so yeah this is the bag and um, if anybody is actually wondering it has a, it has the zipper like it goes all around and inside it has um, two pockets on the side let me see if I can show you this is the one and this is the other pocket and I in one I usually keep my sponges and the and the other one I keep my brushes so and yeah besides my brushes I also keep okay let me show you like this I keep my brushes and I keep like um, eyeliners, lip liners, and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna show you every single product, like especially like liners. I feel like that's. But um, one of my favorite ones, uh, favorite lip liners are definitely from Mac. Um, cause I feel like they're they're very <clears throat> good quality, and I feel like they can last you a while. Uh, for example, this one is Oral. Use for my base, um, and that is obviously primers. Um, this this is kind of my my favorite one. It's um, we all know this one. It's from Mac. It's show cream, and it's uh, hydrating, and it gives you like a luminous finish. So based on the fact that I have a really dry skin, um, this this really tends to like help me out, and it makes my makeup look so much better um, afterwards when I put my foundation on and everything else. It's a little bit dirty because I just keep it in my bag, but yeah, basically this, and this is in the, cause there's, um, there's different shades that you can get. There's like gold, I think one is like pink or something. The one I have is peach, peach light. It's kind of like, it's not pink, but it's not gold either. It's like kind of in the middle and I really, really like it. Um, and I feel like this is, this is the big packaging and I feel like it can last you for a while because you don't have to put that much on your face and you don't really have to put it everywhere as well. Uh, you, you can just put it on the spots where you want to, um, have more of a like a luminous effect or whatever okay so the second primer that I use is also from Mac it's prep and prime and it's uh, essential oils I don't know why but for some reason some things I just like to keep in my packaging I don't like to take them out maybe I should throw this away because like I've had this for a while but I just okay so this is what the oil looks like and again you don't have to put too much a few drops just like on your face and just like I usually rub it everywhere because it's oil so um, again very good I recommend it for dry skin absolutely and then I'm gonna continue with foundations currently I have three I'm gonna show all three these are these are the ones that I currently have um, and I would have to say the one that I'm using like now is definitely this one it's um, from Maybelline um, super stay. I don't know if you can see and I like the coverage. Um, I like the shade range I feel like it matches me really well. Maybe not as much now when I'm 10 because um, because of I like I, I Change color on my face as well, obviously But um in the winter time it's definitely gonna match me and I really really love the price point of all of these foundations Because they're not above 10 euros if they are it's like 10 11 But I don't feel like that's expensive because because it can last you like for a really long time I have the L'Oreal one, um, and Infallible, it's 24 hour matte, but I realized that this one doesn't look as good on me because it, it has a very, very strong matte finish, so it kind of makes me look dry and cakey, so I don't use this much, uh, I don't use this one as much any, anymore. And the other one is also from L'Oreal, it's True Match. I like this one better, um, when, when we talk about the finish of it, but, um, I don't think I chose the right shade um, and that's why I kind of don't use it as well but I feel like this happens to me all the time I have different foundations 
and I end up using just one because either the shades don't match me or the finish is not what I expected or wanted. So it's, it's really, I feel like foundations are the hardest to find. But um, next, what I use is, this, this is also always in my bag. It's basically a compact powder. Again, wrong shade, but I kind of tend to use it anyway. I feel like when you mix it around, it kind of, you kind of make it work. Um, and it has, um, this is so old, like I should have probably thrown this away. I don't feel like this is even okay to use anymore. But where is it? Oh, it has this little like secret pocket with the, with the little spongy thing that you can use. Um, and again, I actually, like I like it, it's good. And it wasn't expensive also, it's a drugstore thing. But I feel like the shade is not really like good for me. But you know, I still use it. So the second one that I just bought recently and I'm kind of still testing out. But um, let me know if you wanna um, know how this works. This is from um, Makeup Revolution. And it's basically like a, like a baking setting powder. And it's in the banana shade. And I use it only usually like under my eyes and like my, my um, smile lines because this is where it creates the most. And a little bit on the forehead because I always like do stuff with my forehead. But um, also a very affordable drugstore. I think it was like 8 euros. Uh, which I don't think is expensive because like it's a, it's quite a, um, a big bottle. And I feel like like you don't use that much of like loose powder. So I feel like it can last you a long time as well. And then, oh, I forgot. I have three different concealers. Again, I don't know why, because I just keep buying random shades. And uh, again, I have three different ones. But uh, yeah, one is Maybelline, one is PS. I think PS, my perfect color. I think I got this one in Primark when I was in uh, Germany, I think. And then I have uh, Maybelline Fit Me. And the other one is from Catrice. It's like a camouflage thing. Um, this is also, like, I feel like they're all good, but to be honest, like the Maybelline one, I feel like is the best. It gives you the best coverage and it has a really nice finish. And again, I feel like I chose the right shade in this one. But I just, if I'm like not certain about like concealer shades, I'll just buy like a bunch of, I mean, not like 10, 12, but like I'll buy a few different ones and I just mix and match. So again, kind of make it work. And then... The next thing that I always, always keep in my bag are definitely makeup sponges. I feel like I have so many, they're dirty by the way, sorry, I have to wash them. But um, I feel like you can never have enough of um, beauty sponges because, I don't know, I keep I keep losing them, I keep like misplacing them and not finding them. So I feel like you can never have too many. But I especially, especially really, really like this one, it's from the Real Techniques. And uh, it's very soft, very soft. Um, like I said, I, I keep the brushes. And then the next thing that I would like to show, again, I kept it in the packaging, I don't know why. Uh, this is the MAC uh, bronzing powder. And I don't know, like, it doesn't really have a shade. The girl just gave it to me and it's the lighter one. I think she, she said that they have two shades. I don't know why only two. But this is basically the lighter one. Um, I really, really liked it. I've, I've, used, I've used it, like, frequently now. Because I have a warm shade as well. And this is more of like a cool shade, so I feel like it just depends. Sometimes I feel more like using this one, sometimes more um, the warm one. Again, I, I keep it in the packaging, I don't know why. I just, I feel like it, this may, always makes me feel like, oh, like it's new, I just got it. Although I didn't, and then you just open it and be like, oh, gifts all over. Anyway, um, again, okay, next thing is, next step I would say is definitely um, a highlighter. I really, really have been loving this one. It's Master Chrome from Maybelline. And it's in the shade, I think, number one. No, it's 100, Molten Gold. It's a metallic highlighter. And I really, really like it. If I, let me just see if I can swatch this thing. I feel like that's very, okay, I'm gonna learn how to do this. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. That's the highlighter. And then I usually use something obviously to set my entire makeup. And I use the MAC Fix Plus, Fix Plus, Fix Plus. Okay, can't talk today. Um, but it's a, it's like a charcoal spray. And it has like, the, the bottle is like really um, glittery. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Just... <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so the next thing would have to be definitely mascara. I use this, um, this is from, wait, what is this from? Oh, L'Oreal. 
It's Paradise Ecstatic something lash something something. This is what it looks like. And then I have a brow gel because I also got my eyebrows microbladed. So I usually don't um, call them in or whatever. I just use um, this brow gel just to like kind of define the hairs or like I don't know make it more. I don't know. To make it pop a little bit more. And of what I have is, let me just show you. <laughs> these, all of these are matte lipsticks. I mean, no, not matte. They're, um, they're nude lipsticks and glosses. And some of them are matte, some of them are not. Uh, why? Because I love nude shades. So, uh, also a matte lip liner. Because I just, I feel like they can, they can go, like they're, they're everyday colors, obviously. And they can, like, go with anything. Um, these are, these are matte, for example. These are the ones that I got, um, they're from, hold on, let me show you. This is wrong. They're from, uh, Huda Beauty. And they come in, like, uh, like a little packaging. And it's, like, four of them. They're different shades. For example, the ones I have are Venus, Flirt, Bombshell, and Trendsetter. Um, I love all of them. They're, they're, like, I swear, like this, they don't even look different. But they're different, trust me. Um, I'm gonna swatch them for you so you can see. Okay, so for example, this one, this is Venus. Uh, they dry matte, uh, they dry down matte, but I don't feel like they're sticky, and I don't feel like they're um, too drying as well. I feel like this is a really nice formula if you like matte lipsticks, but you don't want it to be like too much, like too matte, because my lips, I don't like it when it dries me out too much. Okay, so the next bombshell, this is the second one. I feel like this is more of a pink one. But like I said, like in the bottles, they all look the same. Trust me, they're not. Okay, so the third one is called Transsetter. This is more like uh, a brown kind of nude. Again, that's the Transsetter. And the last one, the last but not least, this is the most brownish one. This, this one is really, really brown and more like of a, like of a cool brown. That's it. And it's called Flirt. So I usually like, I don't know, I mix them up. And I don't know, I also use um, the World Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'll add, for example, something in the center. Make it kind of um, ombre. That's what they call it. So those are, those are one of my favorite matte lipsticks, definitely. And then I have another liquid lipstick. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's in the shade Pure Hollywood. Hollywood. I absolutely, absolutely love this lipstick. Let me show you what this shade looks like. This is definitely more like of a pinkish kind of nude. I feel like this is the most pink nude I own. That's it. But I, I just feel like it looks so good on the lips. Like an everyday look. I absolutely adore it. Okay, so then I have... This, for example, um, is a drugstore lipstick. It's... Yeah! Huh? Ne. Sorry. My cousin again. <laughs> anyway, um, oh shit, I hate when this happens. Anyway, this is also like a brownish kind of nude. I'm gonna show you right here. This was a very affordable one because it's a drugstore one. Okay, so this one right here. I feel like, like you can never have enough nudes because, I don't know, I just always seem to use them up. And this is uh, also a drugstore one, it's from uh, L'Oreal, and it was the collaboration with Jennifer Lopez. Absolutely love this nude. This lipstick was actually a gift from my cousin. Shout out to her. She knows who she is. Um, it's right here. I feel like these two maybe look similar. Pure Hollywood and this one. I don't know what the shade is called. I think it's JLo's Nude. Something like that it was called. Uh, then I also have a Makeup Revolution one. Also kind of brownish, I would have to say. That one. Oh, this one was a gift. I have this one from MAC. And this one is called Whirl as well. This one I have to match, I mean, the lip liner matches this lipstick. This is very, like a, like a definitely a, um, a brown nude. And then also, again, in the packaging, uh, this was a gift from my best friend. Uh, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's a lip gloss. And it's in the color caramel, right there, okay? Looks like this, and then I really like the the applicator though, cause it's flat on both sides, and I feel like it would be really nice to 
that's that's the one but I feel like this is not as much as a nude it's more of like a like a mo mo what's the word mauve mo I don't know the word but it looks like more like pink maybe kind of purplish not really um I definitely recommend to everybody this Fenty Beauty um, gloss balm by far oh my god this smells so good the applicator is very thick and very big but uh, if I could just explain I feel like this smells like cotton candy or like some gummy bears or something and when you put it on your lips you just want to eat it or something so let me just let me put it on right now it's a very nice very glossy very shiny but I like those kind of glosses not sticky at all it doesn't and it doesn't feel like heavy or anything it feels super light it feels super, super comfortable and yeah that basically concludes what I keep in my makeup bag um, I hope you like this video make sure you subscribe make sure you leave me a comment and give this video a like uh, a thumbs up sorry thank you for watching I love you and I will see you in my next video bye